make sure in exercise 10 you write your adjective and the noun it's modifying. And if you look there in orange, that tells you what adjectives answer. Adjectives can answer what kind, which one or what. I, I, I didn't really even consider uh, anything but a Catholic school um, for the kids. A lot of people were so hurt and disappointed with the closing of St. Mary's that they sort of removed themselves from that whole from the diocese, diocese and, and the atmosphere. Uh, and, and even there were, there were people who, for a while afterward, didn't go to church uh, or changed parishes. There was, there was a lot of hurt and a lot of dissension, and it was, um, it was, it was very a difficult time to go through. I mean, it really was it's almost like somebody died in your family. Uh, that's how it felt. And it's funny when you see people who were at the school with you and you get together with them and you start to talk about St. Mary's. It's not unusual even after all this time for somebody to begin to tear up a little bit. Think for a second. We must choose. What did God give us? Gifts. Number one is gifts. It would have been nice to be part of the process and part of the decision making as opposed to you know, just pretty much the word handed down and deal with it kind of attitude. I understand that when the numbers are down as far as school attendance, um, that not all schools can be maintained and open forever. But it seems like that whenever there does need to be a closing or a merger, um, that people could be better prepared for it and brought along in a way that they could support it instead of having it be a, uh, a source of dissension and disruption to, the, to church life. And there's so much security that's tied into having them there at that Catholic school. When we lost that, it's like, it was almost like you lost your safety net. In your, your you, d you, did, you did lose a family. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, we've regained that at St. John's, and that's, that's been a wonderful thing. Homework assignments are due tomorrow. Is an adjective, not a pronoun. But if I say these are to me, it's a shame to lose 70% of the kids from the Catholic school system, and and that was the big um, concern for me because I, I think I place a very high value on Catholic education, and to lose that percentage of your school population overnight is a big loss. It's a big loss spiritually to those kids. Uh, it's a big loss in their, uh, in their academic background. And ultimately, it's a huge loss to the community as a whole because I think Catholic school does quite a bit to bring children up with the idea of service to the community and to other people in general. Hmm. I think that's one of the big things you get from Catholic school is the, the service part of it, the um, character development and it's a shame that kids lose that. What words are modifying feelings, Isaiah? Sad and happy. Sad and happy. Do I have any proper adjectives? Uh, no. Because our kids are away from us for so much of the day, um, when you think about it, your kids spend more time in school probably than anywhere. And um, it's, it's comforting to us to know that they're in a place where the values that we try to instill in them are being supported and promoted and not undermined in any way. It's nice to know also that on a daily basis um, that they're living their faith in school, that they begin classes with a prayer, that they pray at lunchtime, and that their faith is being integrated into every part of their life uh, and not just something they do uh, for a couple hours a week at a, a religious formation class or a root, uh, youth group or even in going, going to Mass as a family. Uh, it's, it's a constant thing and, and I hope that that's something that stays with them through their entire life and every, every decision that they make uh, is based on that. When I make major life decisions or when I screw up. Um, I have 
Sister Valentine sitting on my shoulder uh, more than anyone else. Three sacraments of Christian initiation that we've been talking about. Confirmation, Eucharist, and baptism. Right. right. Okay, so on that line. Yeah, I think the Catholic Church as a whole needs to start doing a better job of taking care of their future. Because their future is these kids. <laughs>